everyone, welcome back to another video. A um, bit of a different one this week because it's not a nail art tutorial, no. This is a fun collaboration between myself and my best buddy, Natalie Mugridge. Um, we decided to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun and kind of bring you guys into our world. And so um, we thought that a nail desk, nail sort of play area tour would be a good thing. And uh, you could kind of check out sort of like, you know, where we do all our designs and stuff like that and filming. So Natalie's got a, a video up on her channel, which you gotta go check out. Um, most of you will already be subscribers, but if you're not, why not? Go check her out because she is a fantastic nail tech, so talented, um, so much fun to watch. So go check her out, guys. Um, but otherwise, just grab a drink, get comfy, because it is a bit of a long one, but, Hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is where I sit and kind of do all my computer work and stuff for sort of nail sugar, editing stuff and all the rest of it. So it's a pretty, as you can see, it's a pretty minimalistic desk because I don't like anything I actually on my desk. I like a really nice, clean, tidy work area. Um, I make enough mess whenever I have got all my papers and stuff like that there right on it. So um, I usually just kind of like to keep it as tidy and neat as I can. Um, tidy desk, tidy mind and all that. But um, over here then I have my printer and then just sort of, this is a tall Alex drawer unit and it's just kind of like full of um, sort of nail sugar supplies and bits and pieces. So um, kind of lots of obviously sort of boring stuff and packaging things. And then up here then, this is my little uh, notice board. And this here has just got like little notes and bits and pieces that I have to do. Um, it's not filled up at the minute, which is great. So I don't have too much on my to-do list for this weekend. Um, but this here is my YouTube schedule. So what I do is any videos that I want to schedule, I will write them all down and the date that they will go up. And obviously the video or the content, and then I just tick it off whenever I have it scheduled. So. I know I've done that. I kind of, I need lists, I need to plan, I need to write things down, I need to be able to see it. So I kind of find that this here works best for me. I know a lot of people do their planning on phones and electronically, but I am a paper and pen kind of gal, so I like this here sort of set up. And this board here, this was just a Tesco board, I think it was about four pounds or something. And I bought this um, washi tape from Etsy and just sort of taped around it. And uh, it's just kind of muted a wee bit more pretty now, so I like it. And then this here is just a little picture that says, um, be the reason someone smiles today. So I love little positive affirmations like that. So I'm kind of thinking I might sort of do a few like little tiny frames around that and just like a little positivity wall, which would be nice. Um, this here, this is obviously the computer and stuff that I do all my editing on. Um, it is a 2019 iMac. And then I bought this here. This is a little stand, just a wee corner stand. I bought that from Amazon, which I think was about 14, 15 pounds, perhaps. Uh, and then just below that there, then that's the keyboard. And I bought that there keyboard cover, which is like a sort of silicone um, keyboard cover, which again, I think I bought that from Amazon as well too. I'm not too sure. Um, yes, I did, I did. And I wanted to um, cover the keyboard um, with some sort of cover because obviously there's a lot of glitter flying about and things like that there and it just gets dusty. And those keyboards are quite expensive so I just wanted to look after it and get something to cover it. And the fact that it's kind of like a pink gradient if you can see it, it's just really cute. So, And then I just have my little pot with flowers in it. Um, I think I got it from the range. And then this little cat um, Zeno post-it holder, which again, I got online and he's just so cute. And I'm always using post-it notes. So um, he's just really handy to have. And anybody that knows me knows I love cats. So that's my, that's kind of the, the desk. Um, and then obviously we've got window here, little pen pots and just like little note, um, little note boxes. This little teddy here is from Samantha Horton. Um, so she bought that for me for my birthday. So I love it. It's just sort of sitting there, just being a cute little teddy. And then this little angel here, my mum bought me. 
and um, I just let it sit there. It's just it's just so pretty, so um, and it's really dainty. So I kind of like to keep it off the side in case it gets knocked. And then we have some swatches and some little cutesy things that um, my gran actually bought Emma and um, I ended up just kind of like adopting them and putting them in here because she passed away so I'm kind of like looking after those and then just below the desk then I have some craft bits and pieces here so that's all my craft and then a great big paper bin which kind of slides in and out which is great just full of plastic and paper and uh, yeah so that's kind of my editing desk not that exciting but still worthy of a tour so let's get on to the exciting stuff okay guys so this here is my nail desk where i sit and do all my filming and have all my nail plays and sort of test and try products and do all that sort of stuff so um just to talk you through it this here is my little swatch box over here and um this is um just basically a lipstick Holder with lots of little pop sticks in it and um, if you watch Talia's Nail Tales um, she has it she actually that's where I got the idea from was from Talia because it's just it's really easy to sit and sort out but I've got loads of swatches to do so this I think this here is the best way for me and I use my label printer which is over on my desk and uh, my editing desk to just kind of like um, I'll show you now just to kind of like make it nice and nice and neat. Like for example, we have Neo Neo Cam Wind and uh, Neo Neo Seaside Forest, and so it's not kind of done or organised sort of properly at the minute. But I've got lots and lots more swatching to do. So, um, so yeah, I must get that sorted. So that that's something that can go onto my to do board for sure. Um, but this here, this is my setup. So this here is my ring lamp. This is a quite a big ring lamp, so it is, as you can see. Um, it is an LED ring lamp, and my hubby bought this for me for Christmas. I did have a um, oh, I can't think of the bulb type, but um, yeah, it just this here one is better because it doesn't flash as much as the other type so and um, my head's just gone at the minute but and then this here is my little phone holder um that just sort of holds my phone whenever i am filming this is a dust extractor that natalie gave me she had actually reviewed it so she gifted me this and i absolutely love this um i was really struggling with dust in general just um, so although I have my masks, I tend to use this here and it's just, it's fantastic. I really, really love this. I also love the shape of it. So and I have my little gel um, brush holder and my lamp. And then this box over here, this is filled with all my kind of um, essentials that I use. So I have this little kind of thing which is filled with all my wipes and cotton buds and these tiny little sort of like buffer blocks that I kind of cut up um, which are disposable so um, I um, so I just kind of like keep those just in there because I don't need to use the whole thing all at once and then I usually have my cotton wool pads in there but um, I need to restock on those and this is some gel cleanser and nail polish for paper that I keep for stamping and then over here then is just um sort of a duster like this here is my pigment brush which is completely clean but it's just the pigment just kind of like dyes the hairs after a while so this here's um used for my pigments and stuff like that there and then I have my other duster brushes as well too and my lint roller for stamping and some files and just sort of all my essential bits and pieces that I like to keep but I keep it in this because um, I can sort of like quite easily knock things off so uh, I just thought that if I keep it all in this here one big um, kind of container that I got from Ikea that it would just keep everything all together and I just I hate things sort of like sitting about everywhere so I just like to be able to sort of keep everything close by in that um, and then I'm just kind of like moving right underneath the desk here. Um, 
this is a little portable nail table that I bought from eBay and it just kind of slides in and out so that whenever I'm doing friends or families, I don't have any um, active clients on my books, but if a friend or family asks me to do your nails, then I do have that. So I just basically pull it out that way and that means then I don't have to do anything with the desk and sort of like rearrange everything, which is an absolute nightmare. Um, so anyway then on to the drawers and this is my Alex drawer unit. This is the baby one off the big tall one that's over there at the editing desk. So top drawer is just kind of filled with all the essentials that I kind of use. And this is all my tips back here and my um, little play tips as well too. I've got my gloves as well. And my this is my medical e-file, which I love from the little nail shop. And then this here is all my sort of play tips and my, I just kind of like put them in there, but I don't quite know what to do with them. So any ideas on sort of how to display your your tips um, in the comments would be greatly appreciated because I kind of don't want to throw them out because there's some really cute designs that I want to keep, but just kind of don't know how to display them. This here's all my brushes. So obviously I have my nail sugar nut milk brush, my gel brushes, pigment brushes, um, more gel brushes so I don't have a great deal but what I do have there I also have my little bling line brush as well which I love which has got lots of different heads that you can change which is so handy I think it's brilliant for a mobile tech and then this here is this is all my um, sort of like um, priming and bonding sort of stuff so we've got protein bond super bond which is um, for obviously my hard gels and dehydrator um, this is some nail glue by Elegant Touch and um, I get this here in the chemist I actually find this really good glue and I really like it so um, and then there's my foil glue down here and then I have some cuticle oils and some my um, this is my Urban Graffiti my nail foil gel um, uh, polish as well too and some cleanser and then my little sort of box of um, e-file bits, so I have them there. These here are little stackable um, candle, they're actually stackable candles from, candle holders from Ikea. But sometimes if I'm using um, a cleanser or something like that there for a design, um, they're really handy for that there. But I keep them in there because it kind of like keep these little boxes sort of like secured and sitting there so that's that. Then moving on into the second drawer this is all my gel polishes at the moment which I need to get proper storage for. Um, this is all my old ones here and I'm kind of like um, replacing them with Neo Neo. So um, I have my new Neo Neo ones here which I absolutely love and the reason I love these here is because they are really sort of nice uh, they're just a really good size and they fit in these drawers perfect so um they're compact and the coverage on these here is just it's amazing so i absolutely love these gel polishes they are beautiful and um and this is sort of like a, a base coat and just the the hard top coat um i have my bling line gel this is the tack free finish that i use all the time i love my bling line tack free finish and then this here is my little niece's gel or not gel polishes, but normal polishes, just normal nail polish. This is Peggy paint and this is the non-toxic paint. So I keep that for her in there. So she feels um, nice and special whenever she comes to get her nails done. Um, Cause she's only tiny, so she is. So um, that's, that's Lily's little section there. And then I have all these here gel polishes. These were actually, um, this is all RNK and then I have some Elite 99 at the back there that was gifted from Natalie. So I've kind of like bitsy pieces um, of gel polishes, but I will um, be um, kind of replacing most with the Neo Nail. So, and then I have my beautiful palettes that Cherie bought me, which I use all the time and they just sit in there. They are so handy. I love using those. So you'll see those quite a bit. 
So that's my gel polish drawer. So tiny, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Whole wall of gel polishes. Okay, and then on to this. This is my heart gel. This is my bling line drawer, which I adore. This is all the builder gels. Um, so you've got sort of a builder and the cool one step gel and um, <clears throat> fiber gel and uh, cover gel, warm pink, which I adore. So this is all my bling line gel, so I'm gonna be adding to this collection, as well as the colors. This is some of the colors that I have at the moment, which, as you can sort of see, I've got some there, but I really, really want to kind of build on those. So, um, so I'm going to be doing a nice big order soon to kind of top up my hard gel colors. So I really feel like I need a spree um, especially after this year. So that's my bling line drawer. Um, I definitely want to consider if you are looking at hard gels. I have swapped um, a year ago from acrylic to hard gels and this here line here is just, they're just beautiful. So um, definitely have a look at the little nail shop for bling line because it is fantastic gel. Okay, and this here is my nail art drawer. Now this here might surprise some of you guys because obviously I'm nail sugar, so you would expect to be absolutely surrounded by nail art, but actually I only have a sort of a select few of what I need now and again in these drawers. So it's just kind of bits and pieces, um, like sort of mylars and pigments and things like that there. Um, I do have my foil so for example this here is um my the nail sugar foils um so this is my little foil wallets which i keep and then i have these kind of like little glitter trays which i'm still in the middle of sort of filling i'm just sort of trying to get time to do that so um i have one for the sort of the fines and then one for chunkies which I shall hopefully get filled this weekend, but these are brilliant wee trays because they keep everything so neat. And again, you can sort of like buy them on Amazon. Um, just sort of like little pots, which are perfect size for me. So um, I can just keep like a little sample of everything um, in those pots. So I like to have my own stash. But obviously, you know, I've got no sugar cake behind me, so there's so much. Um, so much nail art in here um, that I just kind of have this drawer because I usually sort of dip into things as and when I need it. Um, this is all my stamping and my little stamping plates as well too. And some of my stamping polishes and then I've got some pigments here. I've got some 3D gels here that Matt gave me. And then I have my alcohol inks as well too. So this is just sort of some nail art and again, I am more of a minimalist. I tend to sort of just keep what I need when I need it. And if something goes out of stock in nail sugar, it's straight out. Um, so I don't sort of tend to hoard a lot. I just kind of like to keep what I need because I don't have a great lot of space and I don't like it cluttered up with things that I maybe say like not using a lot of at the moment. So, um, so yeah, so that is my little itty bitty nail art drawer. And then down here then, this is kind of like an overflow of stock and just, or sort of like, no, it's supplies, an overflow of supplies. Um, this here is my, what is this? This is just like little black um, background papers that I bought from the range um, a couple of weeks ago. I'm just sort of to take nice pictures on, so as you can see, there's all different um, little backdrops and things like that there for pictures. So. And then in here then we have the flexi hand of course and then just sort of some old gels and things like that that I'm not using sort of so much anymore um, and some UV gel remover um, pads and stuff. This is all my napkins that I use for the desk because I find it just sort of the perfect size and I can just sort of keep it in there and then um, set uh, Regina basically on the hand, or sorry, on the, the little tissues there, just to sort of keep everything down again. That's some more napkins that I just find are the perfect size for whenever I am having a nail play, um, or even sort of doing some nails as well too. I just think they're perfect for that. So I have some forms and some kind of like leftover or excess 
um, little wipes as well too. And then and some cuticle remover, loads of spare brushes. Um, do they have in there? I've got a little bag of sanding bands back there. Um, so this is kind of just like a like a bit some pieces to the drawer. I've got some blue tacks and masks. Um, so yeah, I pretty much. And then these here, which I have bought actually from Amazon, and I gotta use these. Um, they are rubber. I don't know what they. I think they're like little like rubber feet or something. Um, but I was wanting to use these for the on tops of some of my gel polishes but that I don't want to get rid of because I sort of want to use them up but some of them there are no swatches on them so uh, for some of my older gel polishes I thought I would do some swatches and kind of like stick it on the top so I don't know we'll see how we go with those but that's those anyways uh, so I need to get using those um, so that's so there we go guys, that is a little tour of my editing and uh, filming, sort of nail play area um, where I do all my recording and stuff for YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to pop over to Natalie's channel, which is linked below, and uh, check out her video too. So I cannot wait to see hers and um, I'm really looking forward to that. Have a great week ahead and don't forget to give me a like, leave me a little comment down below, say hello and all that. I love, love, love chatting with you guys. So thanks so much indeed for stopping by and uh, I will see you all again next time. Bye.